Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios. I got another printer in the uh, mail a few days ago. I backed uh, Kudo 3D's Bean. Must be over a year and a half ago by now, or almost two years, I'm not sure. But I got it. Um, I just did my maiden print with it. I have a bunch of stuff on uh, Facebook and Instagram. I'll put links below to those. And I just woke up this morning, and this is the test rook. So I'm gonna be back and uh, see how it turned out. Okay, we're back. And by the way, we're in my uh, kitchen. <laughs> I spread out my hobby to here now. This is as a temporary setup. Um, like I said, I got this a few days ago. So I've been kind of researching resin printers. I don't know anything about them. Obviously I do FDM only. And now this one, and I have a Prusa SL1 on order that I ordered back in the beginning or like September, yeah. So it looks like we have a successful print. Um, Another thing I did was learning how to level the bed, going over all of Kudo's uh, videos and also the Kudo uh, Bean Forum. It's over 700 people now, amazing stuff coming out of there and very helpful. Uh, Chris Nye is a gentleman on there that's uh, doing amazing prints and responds to any kind of questions, so that's great. So learning about slicers now and all that. Uh, my next video after this one, we get this successfully cleaned off. Uh, will be like a Hero Forge uh, figure that I designed. Excited about that. Do that in green resin, probably or not green, the gray resin. And over here, I have a Form Labs uh, cleaning station, like I said, or did I? Uh, in the previous section, uh, this might be overpriced as like Tupperware, but it fits isopropyl alcohol very nicely. Uh, this is 99%. I've been reading about that. Uh, Anything lower has different amounts of um, mixtures in it. Like I've heard glycerin and stuff like that. So you don't want that on your print. You're trying to get everything cleaned off of it. So this one you have a straining station and this will be your finished cleaning. So, but I like this thing because it's so compact. Like I said, hundred dollars, you have a tray to work on. So you're not gonna get resin everywhere. And then between um, the, the big bag of gloves it came with, <laughs> and uh, the, the printer itself came with uh, a little bag. No big deal. Uh, a little a one set, then you need some tools, the bottle, a scraper, um, yeah, a couple different scrapers, this, another kind of scraper, and some flush cutters for supports, and some tweezers for even smaller supports, and some like lens cleaners for your um, LCD screen. So that's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna take this off. So, I'm, oh, where's, I have a squeegee somewhere too, like a rubber. Oh, right here, right it's on the black. So this is gonna help take the uh, resin and get it back into there and I can get it back into the bottle. Let me grab that. These are like, came with two quarter gram or quarter uh, kilo bottles. So uh, 250 milliliter, I guess. And so I'm trying to try some other um, brands in the future too, Iligu and uh, one other one. I'll bring those on uh, in the next uh, video. So we'll see you in a second. I successfully got the rook off the build plate. We got it into the first rinse tank. I'm doing this one handed so excuse me. I'm gloved up and protected. Um, also, when we got the uh, the cover off, there's a lot of, of film of the resin on there, so I used the black squeegee that came with the printer and scraped it back into there. I had a little drip. Make sure I keep the isopropyl alcohol and a couple rags around. And then I had to knock uh, the rook, and it has a base plate on it, so I've still got to clean this, into there. Then I switched around a little bit. And you can see here I got little shards of resin. It had like a square build plate to hold and give it more adherence to the uh, build plate itself. So I uh, broke that off, used the um, flush cutters. So now after the, that, we let this um, go into there. Then we have another section I'll come to right after this. I'm gonna put this resin back into the original bottle. And it's getting some daylight in here, so I'm gonna do that soon. And I have a filter, just in case if anything broke off or there's little chunks in there, you don't want that to go back in there and get the build plate to smash through the uh, FEP film on the bottom of the resin tank. So we'll be back. Okay, we're at the final stage of the curing. I don't have a glove on, but uh, this is a UV station. It's custom by Kudo 3D. They sell this honestly for $200 on their website. This came with my package. Uh, this is a 48 watt uh, nail hardener. It'd be uh, 
go to a salon or girlfriend or wife gets their nails done. They have these at the stations. They put their uh, fingers in them. Uh, this one's got a, it's kind of cool for a drawer. I'm gonna get some aluminum tape to get some more uh, reflectivity out of it, so it'll cure better. So we'll put that in there, and then uh, we'll be back. We're almost done. Okay, after the UV curing, we have a finished rook, and it is awesome. You see all the detail. It's very smooth, but obviously it's a measurable layer height at 0 0.05. So uh, crazy uh, thin. I think you can go down to 0 0.025 with this machine. Uh, just got to uh, dial it in for that. So you can see through here, there's like a lattice in the center. There's a staircase that goes all along that outer band. There's like a little section here that's cut out. And you see all the text is nice and crisp. There you can see there. And then this is crazy on top. So I got some lights in my kitchen above me and you can just catch these reflections off the text. I mean, that is so, I mean, I don't even know what type font size that is. That is crazy and you can go down inside here so we get reflections off of everything. You see the staircase. Then let's see if I can get catch the light on that lattice. There we go. That's so nuts. So I'm very impressed with that. We did have a mishap. Uh, some resin got trapped. The drain hole, I guess, didn't do its job. I guess some alcohol got in there and it clouded it up a little bit, but can't really tell. Then all my uh, stuff for cleanup, I put out in an Amazon box and anything I have wet resin on it is gonna be cured so I can throw it away later with peace of mind. It's not throwing something toxic away. Then right here is a program. Hi, you can see me in the uh, reflection of my laptop. This is called Formware 3D. This is a resin printer uh, slicer, kind of like uh, Simplify 3D, I guess. It's uh, cost around 150 bucks, but I think it's worth it. It's a little easier to use and I was able to do all the support work and this is a, I call him Jungle Fighter Jim. He's kind of like a Catagen character with Sylvester Stallone-like first blood hair. And he is on the printer now in gray resin. Hopefully it's gonna work, so I don't know if I cleaned it up correctly or leveled it. I think I didn't level it again. I'm not sure if that's necessary, we'll see. So uh, that's gonna be it for this video, and then I'll show him off in a future video. And if he turned out, or if he didn't, I'll discuss that too and uh, make another try at it. As usual, thank you for joining me. We'll see you again soon.